three hours into the drive and we are stuck on the side of the highway. So we got to take the Bass Cat from about here to actually no down here and we're looking at about a 12 hour drive. Oh, oh, okay. A million things going on. Alrighty, everything's loaded up. Probably gonna break my truck with how heavy this thing is right now, but we're getting it, we're getting it, so we're gonna send it. Let's get it. This would happen. Oh my gosh, three hours in, and well, check this out, folks. Rip, big old rip. So good news is I got a spare, but we're probably gonna have to make a pit stop to tractor supply and get another one. I don't know, I think the tire might've had too much air in it. I'm not really sure. Oh man, this is just ridiculous. So as if getting a flat tire wasn't bad enough, I had to change the tire on the roadside. This made things nerve wracking and super sketchy, but thankfully a turnpike worker saw me. He was nice enough to pull over and watch for cars while I changed the tire. A little sketchy by yourself. Yeah, at least you got a big shoulder here. That's a good thing. Yeah. It only it gets narrow about a mile up the road. So I'm hoping I can at least get somewhere with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just praying that nothing happened to the axle or the bearings or anything. All right, shout out to the Turnpike people for helping me out. We got a new tire on there. We're good to go. I'm really hoping none of the bearings or hubs or anything exploded in the process of doing this. Good thing I brought some tools with me. I kind of had a feeling this was a possibility. And frankly, it's always a possibility. So we're getting back on the road, little setback. There is a tractor supply not too far from here. So we're gonna stop and get another spare. That way, if this happens again, we'll have round two, but I'm gonna get this figured out. Keep on moving. All right, so we're back on the road. We did make a stop at Tractor Supply. I probably should have filmed that, but I didn't because I'm kind of in a hurry. We got a spare. It's not the exact size, but it's all they had, so it's it's better than no tires. So we're rolling on stock tires. Hopefully they make it. We have approximately eight hours and 21 more minutes to go. It's like nerve wracking at this point because like once something like that happens, you just feel like, oh no, like is it gonna happen again? Is the trailer 100%? It's a little windy out. It's not towing as nice as I wish it was, but we are back on the road. Our ETA went from about 3.50 to six o'clock. So kind of got to take my time. I can't haul arse with a trailer, but whatever. It is what it is, we're here, so. Glad I'm safe and everything's going good. And uh, hopefully it continues to go good, but on the road again. What the frick? Well, three hours away from destination and we blew another freaking tire. I'm running out of time. I gotta make some stuff happen. I gotta, I gotta get this tire fixed, guys. This is, this is tough for me, man. Aye, aye, aye. Oh yeah, yeah, you guys do not know the day that I had traveling yesterday. What was supposed to be a 12 hour trip turned into about a 17 hour trip because the trailer tires just kept exploding. Obviously the tires that came on the Bass Cat that I was told were new and they were in good shape were clearly not new. Every tire that I put on at whatever point basically ended up like this. And yeah, not ideal. But if you guys look at the tread, like they still even had the beads on it and stuff like that. So I don't know, we're kind of here, if that makes sense. We're not where the boat is getting stored, but we're where I live now. So we crashed last night, woke up early this morning, and now we have another one hour drive to drop the boat off. So we got freshies on here. I ended up going to tractor supply and just replacing both tires. So hopefully we don't have to deal with this anymore, but let's go put this darn thing away because I've had enough of this road trip.
I can't get a break. I didn't film it because I just didn't feel right about filming it, but I literally had a semi truck coming from the other side of the highway flip and roll over to my side of my highway in front of me. I don't know what's going on with this state, y'all, but whatever. We're here. We got to put the bass cat in this barn over here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Get her in storage. So there we have it. The Bass Cat has officially made it to the destination. That was a disastrous road trip and I hope I never have to be in a situation like that again. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think happened? Like were the tires just shot? Every single one of them blew up. I'll show you like up close here so you can kind of get a gist of like what happened. So every single one of my tires just completely exploded, lost every little bit of tread. And if you look at this tire, this is the last spare that I took off knowing that it was going to blow. Can you tell how warped that is? I mean, that thing is so warped. It's like crooked. I had the tires set at 35 PSI so that they had room to expand and knowing that they would be on the road for a very long time. But I don't know, are the tires just shot and they just couldn't handle it anymore? Let me know what the deal is. I've never taken a trailer on a road trip before, but I can't imagine that people just go through this all the time where they blow tire after tire. I had a 12 hour drive and I blew three tires. Coincidentally, the same three tires and then I went and bought these from Tractor Supply and they lasted three hours just fine. So I really have no idea, I would like to know. So if you guys have any information, leave a comment down below. Other than that, we gotta get acclimated to a new lifestyle. This is crazy guys. I moved to a completely different state. I don't know anybody here. I don't know this area at all whatsoever. Starting a new job, life's crazy. And I seriously appreciate you guys for every single one of you that keeps on viewing and stays in tune with my whole ordeal. I'm trying to get out videos as much as I possibly can, but the reality of it is I need a job. I need to pay my bills. So I had to do what I had to do. Bass Cat's here. For all you guys who are wondering what happened to it, we still got it. It's not going anywhere, but I'll tell you what, I was this close to leaving it on the side of the highway. Whatever, I gotta get back to unpacking, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button. I need, I need some love. Leave me a comment down below. Just say what's up or tell me what's wrong. I don't know what the heck happened to me this morning or yesterday or whatever. I don't know. I gotta stop talking. I'll see you guys later.